In today's video, I wanted to do another geode style acrylic pour. I'm working with purples this time and I have two 10 inch canvases that I'm going to be painting on so I can try out um, some different variety of colors in each canvas. I did a similar style in blue in video number 473 and this time I just wanted to try it in a different color palette but I'm doing a mix up of two techniques. I'm going to be doing a puddle pour and then ring pours within the puddle pours and then when you tilt it out you get some really nice um, defined areas of colors where you had your puddle pours and then those really nice ring pours that create a really um, small striations throughout your piece. So I'm just starting by puddling some of my colors in the middle of my canvas and then I grabbed a cup to layer my colors for my ring pour. Each of my colors are mixed with water and Sargent Art gloss medium. I do not want cells in this, so I did not use Floetrol. And once I had done my ring pour, I just started my process again with doing the puddle pours and then alternating between the puddles and the ring pour. My original puddle was that really dark purple and it got lost underneath some of the other colors. So I'm just adding a small amount around my um, entire circle. And then I just started tilting. The dark purple in this one um, was really prominent, which I really liked, and overall I really like the way that this one turned out, but I want to try a second one and maybe keep it to some of the lighter purples and see what that will look like too.
the white center that I had poured was really taking over in this one, so I ended up tilting quite a bit of that off. But overall, I really like the contrast of the lighter purples in this one and the darker purples in the other painting, and I think they make a really nice set together. <laughs> 